Ex Libre last week held BSD week, right? They held BSD week for the open source X org fork that is causing waves across the Linux world. And it was awesome. It was awesome to see so much focus on a, such a large number of open source community and otherwise driven BSD operating systems because they just don't get enough love. I mean, they don't. Uh, Linux gets the spotlight. I mean, Linux is great. I run Linux as my main system. I got Open Mandriva rocking over here. It's just fantastic. But the BSDs are pretty phenomenal in their own right. And uh, in fact, at least one of them I want to spend some more time with. But so they had a, a BSD week. Every day they made a post about yet another BSD operating system with Ex Libre up and rocking with screenshots. Uh, uh, here's one with OpenBSD <laughs> running Ex Libre. Uh, just phenomenal. Now you can use Ex Libre, it's just an X server, right? So you can use whatever desktop environment you want. So all the screenshots are are many and varied. Some of, are, some of them are very raw, like running like an ICE window manager. Some of them are more XFCE based. You can be all over the map here. Uh, so here's OpenBSD running, uh, running Ex Libre. Um, uh, Xenocara.org uh, is available for OpenBSD, which is kind of a an, an X org fork already. Um, and there's a reason for that, they say. What we want to show you here is simply that X Libre runs on OpenBSD. Uh, and uh, a big thank you to the developer behind it. Uh, here's another screenshot here from FreeBSD. Uh, third party, pack party packages for FreeBSD are available and maintained since June 26th. We added it to our pipelines on August 1st. Some may call this old news. We call it commitment. <laughs> so FreeBSD is here to stay with us. A big thank you uh, to Boz who, who made that possible. And again, here's a screenshot for those of you watching the video version of FreeBSD running Ex Libre. Also, Dragonfly BSD. Uh, given our Ex Libre Free BSD ports, work is underway to provide D ports to. A uh, big thank you to the developers behind that. Multiple developers listed there. If you follow Ex Libre Dev over on X, uh, you'll get all of these updates as they post them. I I, I recommend it. Uh, it's just it's just phenomenal. Just like a steady stream of yet other BSD and Linux distributions getting uh, f various levels of X Libre support almost daily. It seems so. Again, here's uh, here's Dragon BSD or Dragonfly BSD. Um, and then of course there's Ghost BSD. And there's been a lot of news related to Ghost BSD and Ex Libre happening over the last week or so. Uh, I'm gonna read this here. Uh, to sum it up, there will there soon will be ISOs containing Ex Libre first party packages for Ghost BSD. An announcement will follow once they are ready. A big thank you again to all the people involved. Now here's a screenshot of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beautiful thing of Ex Libre as the X server uh, running on top of Ghost BSD. Um, I've got this running myself. Um, they're they're still working through some issues. I've talked with the developers behind this. Uh, they don't necessarily recommend everyone jump into it right now, but they are working out some issues and they've been almost daily putting out new builds that significantly move things forward. And I, I'm looking at the progress they're making and the quality of Ex Libre and all the other platforms. I'm going to say that Ghost BSD is probably going to be a great spot to use, you know, Ex Libre and everything else it, just in the coming days. It's really, really phenomenal. They're doing doing great work with this. And of course, NetBSD. Now, this is great. Uh, Ex Libre runs on NetBSD. It took um, it took this developer to say took one developer to say, I want this to work. And the others joined in and they together developed a solution. That's one thing we love about free and open source software. A big thank you to all involved. And uh, here's uh, XFCE running on top of Ex Libre on NetBSD. Now, I've always I have a soft spot for Net NetBSD because it runs on so many platforms. Like NetBSD is just available for everything. If there's like a if there's like a, a gerbil, NetBSD probably runs on the gerbil, right? Like it, it just runs on everything. 
Now, I personally have tried to make NetBSD like a main driver for me many times, and I always have problems. I, uh, I, I always have just tremendous issues with NetBSD. I just do. Just in general, I have problems with the installers. I have problems with networking. I have problems with video drivers. I have so many problems with NetBSD technically, but I love it just the same. I love the crazy level of portability in a fairly small BSD system. It's just, it's beautiful. At some point, at some point, I am going to be out there running NetBSD. At some point. I'm going to do it at some point. Um, but seeing X Libre running on top of NetBSD just makes it uh, even, even more choice. So there, there you go. OpenBSD, FreeBSD, GhostBSD, NetBSD, and Dragonfly BSD all have either first party or third party support now for X Libre. Uh, you have to wonder at what point at what point does X Libre just become the de facto open source X server for Linux and BSD platforms? Um, I, I would posit we're not that far. Uh, we're really, really not that far. We're, we're seeing an increasingly large number of Linux and BSDs adopt X Libre, and it's for good reason. Putting all politics aside, X Libre is maintained, whereas Xorg, which it is forked from, is not maintained. In fact, the developers behind Xorg have stated that their intention is to kill Xorg, right? Like literally Red Hat developers working on Xorg and Wayland have stated that their goal is to kill off Xorg. So why would you continue using Xorg if you want an X server? If you want an X server, you'd want to use one that's supported and maintained and actively developed and X Libre is that. They forked it off. They took thousands of patches, mostly bug fixes and security patches that have just been languishing in obscurity and, and security issues. And they want and they brought them all in, merged them all in, tested the heck out of it, and now we've got X Libre. And Xorg is now sitting far, far in the dust. It is it, it I don't see why, if you were to make a new Linux distribution now that you would use Xorg over X Libre. I mean, I understand why some people might go the Wayland route. I, I personally prefer prefer an X server over Wayland just because I don't really love the Wayland restrictions, the protocols restrictions. I don't I don't like it. But if you're gonna if you're gonna use an X server, you wouldn't use Xorg. You just wouldn't. And that seems to me what's crazy is the people who want to kill Xorg hate that X Libre is there as an option because their goal isn't just to kill off a to stop supporting Xorg. They really don't want people using anything other than Wayland. So a viable X server like X Libre makes them cranky. And now it's spreading across all the BSDs because everyone's like, why would we not want this? Yes, we want a maintained version of the, the X server we've been using for decades now reliably. Of course we want that. And now we've got it on the BSDs. Uh, just, just as a side note, where's the screenshot of Ghost? Uh, I'm going to be uh, trying my darndest to, to really use Ghost as a daily driver, just for as like a on a backup laptop system. Um, I've, I've gotten it up and running on one, and uh, I think I'm going to get like a, like a, a low-end like used ThinkPad or something like that and put Ghost BSD on it for my dedicated Ghost BSD box because I really like a lot of the stuff they're doing. It looks like a quality system. Uh, thank you to the Lunduke Journal subscribers for allowing us to do all of this beautiful coverage for us to talk about these wonderful, wonderful things that make the world of computing better. Some of them are happy things, some are sad things, but regardless, they are all things. Uh, go to lunduke.com and click on some links. That was profound. I just came up with that. I know, you're, you're really impressed. Go to lunduke.com, click on the things, subscribe to the journal, make things happen. This wouldn't exist without all the support uh, that all of you give. So thank you very much. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the BSD universe, I do declare and broadcast.